Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Today we're in the classroom. It's basic botany time. And the question of the day is, what is a plant? Well, I'm gonna read you a definition here. A plant, the word is a noun, it's a living organism of the kind exemplified by trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, ferns, and mosses, typically growing in a permanent site, absorbing water and inorganic substances through its roots, and synthesizing nutrients in its leaves by photosynthesis using the green pigment chlorophyll. A great summary. Let's just go over that again. So a plant is a multicellular living organism. Now in the plant cell, here's a rough sketch of a plant cell. It has a cell membrane, but outside of the cell membrane, there's a cell wall. That's a unique thing for a plant cell as opposed to an animal cell. Uh, plants also use photosynthesis to generate their food from the sun using the pigment chlorophyll. They do that in an organelle within the cell called a chloroplast, and animals do not have that. They absorb, um, or they produce oxygen, and they use carbon dioxide. They are living organisms that absorb water and nutrients through their roots. They are stationary, more or less. So you think, what do you mean more or less? Well, you may have seen trees and shrubs move in the wind. Of course, they're not, that's not relocating them. But they do have a very interesting power <laughs> of uh, relocating their progeny through the seed distribution. That's a really um, wonderful attribute of plants. Um, you will also notice that plants have a property called uh, phototropism. They are uh, they will grow toward the light. And so if you're tracking the growth of a bean seedling or something, you will really see how that will grow toward the light. Uh, so while they are stationary in their main position, they, there is some flexibility, there is movement within a plant. They do have rigid cell walls and that gives them their structure. And the reproduction is through sexual and asexual means. So you can have the seed production, from a, a flower that's pollinated, the sexual reproduction, and then the asexual, which could be starts or shoots or runners, where you get a clone, actually, of the plant. So there's just a little rundown, a very basic rundown of the question, what is a plant? And here is my friend, the plant. Well, there's always more to learn in the garden. Bye-bye.